Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to Frank's School. Six year, fifth day, first video. This should be a little more interesting than some, maybe. Oh, and I don't think I have any soot on my forehead. <laughs> I didn't look. I don't like mirrors. Maybe I ought to invest in a mirror down here. <clears throat> the, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you, or I have I am showing you the Lord's Prayer in our talk writing. Uh, I'll come back to that in just just a couple of things. Uh, the I was saying that outhouse yesterday, that E U L. Well, in the uh, uh, King James Bible, and uh, you know, in in like Elizabethan English, the word show, which we would <clears throat> normally, I would say, is show, S H U W, uh, is often spelled show, <coughs> like that. And I often wondered, why is that? Well, it's because I think that's the way they said it, show, uh, outhouse. And, and so that sound is also not far from here in Pennsylvania. Uh, I, I looked, and, and the way I represent je, as in genre, or beige, or a garage, what was the other one, uh, prestige, I use a ZH. I had to go look, just like there's an SH for shy. ZH would be Jai, which does not exist. It's not a word in English. All right, now to the Lord's Prayer. <clears throat> this is also known and maybe more often known as the Our Father. The Our Father. And it has been of considerable use to linguists over the years. Because <clears throat> a thousand years ago, back in Old English, it's one of the ways they sorted out those, old, those languages back at that time. What, what's that other one? Oh, there's Gothic, maybe? I, I don't know. It's, it's a study I haven't looked into for a while. But all across Northern Europe, when it was Christianized, people were taught to say the Our Father. And, and they have it in many languages. In one of my books on the shelf, I'll probably get it out. It shows the Lord's Prayer in a whole bunch of different languages. <clears throat> now, uh, for some of you, you're going to think I stopped before the end. Because, uh, but... I'm sort of using the Catholic version of it, I think. At least this is my understanding. Protestants are going to go on to say, For thine is the kingdom and the glory. For the <laughs> I can't start all of a sudden there. But anyway, uh, it, it's a, often a little bit awkward in a Catholic church if there's some Protestants out there in the congregation. They don't stop there. They keep going. And then all of a sudden they stop because it's an unexpected solo. Anyway, I shorten it. All right, uh, here it goes. I'll read it twice. Uh, well, I'll read it, and then I'll, I'll go back and I'll comment a little bit. Maybe one other thing I can say in advance is that here's a set of words that are usually, you can't avoid speaking in your dialect, at least your pronunciation. That you can't avoid, really, without becoming an actor, pretending somebody that you're not. But uh, in terms of register, uh, these words are usually spoken in a very formal register, and they don't reflect dialect in many ways because they're memorized, and they've been memorized from a different, uh, the more prestigious uh, dialect. <clears throat> All right, uh, I'm stalling, I guess. Oh, uh, still another thing. Uh, I capitalize father. Now, in our talk writing, I, I pretty much take standard English punctuation as it is. I think it's 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 actually a brilliant system. The punctuation of uh, of uh, standard English, not the spelling. Well, the spelling is in its way it's brilliant. Later on, I'll explain what's good about the English spelling system. But I take the punctuation system pretty much as it is. And it's traditional in the uh, English uh, punctuation system to capitalize uh, a word that refers to God. <clears throat> in this case, Father. In, in this case, the word thy, when it's a pronoun uh, and the antecedent is God, uh, it would be capitalized. So I've left that. <clears throat> well, let me, let, me, let me read this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power and glory, King, forever. Amen. It would be the, the, the rest of it. But that's where I'm going to stop. Now, if you followed along, your dialect or idiolect is, is you certainly your idiolect is different from mine, but your dialect may be as well. And I'll point a few th of these things out. R, I was very tempted to, to, to spell this as our, our father. It being so formal, uh, but I decided to leave it like this. Father, uh, you know, the, the, the English spelling ha would have an A, that would be father. And actually, <laughs> In an older form of English, it, it, father sounded. Uh, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to mix it up right now. Later on, I'm going to put the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. I'll put it up in other languages, but uh, but not yet. Who art in heaven? Now, right here, I, I used I. I could have said heaven, eh, or heaven, un heaven. There's this term schwa, I think that's the way you spell it, I'm not sure, which covers that sound that they're also similar, uh, heaven. Uh, but I decided it, the way I speak, I would say heaven. But that's, that's, uh, that could have been different. Hallowed, hallow, well here once again, hallowed, hallowed, <coughs> there's that. There's that question, it, depending on almost how fast you're going, what mood you're in. Be thy name, there's that the, the voice, T-H, thy name. <clears throat> thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There once again, there... <coughs> <coughs> There's that <coughs> sort of judgment call. <coughs> Give us this day our daily bread. And now, and for uh, it's very likely that a person saying this would leave the D off and forgive us, not pronounce it. Depending again how formal they are, how careful they are, what register they're using. But I'm going to put that back in. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Debtors. Uh, I think probably most uh, Americans would pronounce it debtors. Debtors. As a matter of fact, I, I better just leave it like that. Uh, as we forgive our debtors. Yeah, I, I think I would say it as a D. Not, not the British. Uh, and now, in the spelling, it's an O, debtors, but... Uh, there's no awe, I don't think, not, not hearing it. And lead us <clears throat> not into temptation. Wondered about the P, temptation. Now, the P is not spoken. Temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, there is that, is it evil? 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 I went with this, evil. Now, when I uh, conduct a choir, and, and it was, which I did for many, many years, I would always ask the choir to push the vowel that's actually spelled there. So it would be evil if, if, the, <clears throat> if the choir were singing it. But, but spoken, uh, we would say evil. Uh, well... I think this may actually be a kind of a rich uh, uh, experience for me, and and at the moment I'm thinking about showing you the, this uh, this prayer in some foreign languages. Uh, I think I'm not I'm not actually sure about that, uh, but that'll do for today. Bye for now.